Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to my studio. Yep. This is my little corner of the world, and it literally is a corner. It's a corner in, in my front bedroom, which doesn't have a bed in it. It's just my studio. I've been working on it a um, little at a time, changing things up. But, you know, I'm having fun. I don't get in a hurry about what I want on my walls. If some, if I don't like the way something looks, I change it a little bit. I think I'm going to change my sister's picture right here and put my Fly Lady logo. That's that's what I'm thinking. I'll put, put her over here where I can see it because I can't really see it behind me. And we'll just uh, have some fun. I talked to Ben a little bit today about uh, his upcoming surgery and what what uh, he has a doctor's appointment on Monday and I'm gonna try to be on the phone with him I have um, my throat is uh, hurting well just I'm getting some gland swelling and I've never had that before so I'm gonna be taking me another dose of vitamin C one scoop is a thousand milligrams and I'm dosing up. I've got my tea right here. This is wise women's tea. I'm going to put an extra dose in my cup of, of a tea bag here. I've mixed up some tea today so I can have a lot to drink. And we're going to be good. So, oh, that was hot. Oh my, that was hot. I didn't put the lid on it good. Y'all, I made a mess. Oh well, that's what purple rags are for. Cleaning up my mess. Yep, I didn't put the top on it good. Oh well. Here we go. I'm pouring my tea. Yeah, I like my tea. I made it about 30 minutes ago. Cleaning up my mess as we go. When you make a mess, you clean it up. My nose is itching. So, get on in here. And I have my tea and I'm going to stir my little tea bag around. Got my... Leanne gave me a little... little uh, little bitty thing to put my spoon in and my tea bag but I'm gonna leave my tea bag in there so this is a purple rag that's uh, been used a lot I've had it for about five years and then here's one that's brand new I love them still pretty and purple we like purple Purple makes us happy. And I forgot to put my microphone on. Here we go. There we go. But one thing about it, when it's laying on the desk right here, you can hear me pretty good. So, folks, let's drink up. Oh, that's... Tea is a... How do you measure your tea? One or two bags to a cup. What I do is I put one bag in my cup right now. One bag in my cup. But I have three bags in my, my 25 ounce. This is three cups of tea. So I have three bags in here for three cups of tea. And I can pour some more hot water in it and make more tea. And I have a cup of, I have a, a scoop of, of a vitamin C in my little cup and I'll just drink it down. It's medicinal tea. But I did make a mess. <laughs> because I didn't put the lid on it good. Stuff happens when you get in a hurry. And I was kind of in a hurry to get in here. I was running a little late. and That's what happens when you get in a hurry. You forget things. So we're almost, almost got 200 people in here. I know you're not supposed to touch your nose, but I've only been home today, and I really haven't seen anybody else, and my nose is itching. I don't know how people stop from doing that. So I have a topic here. 
Don't want to do that one today. Don't want to do that one today. It's about boundaries, and that's not what I'm in the mood to talk about. I may just have to pick something and do it on my own. If if I have if I pick three times and I don't like it. Okay, this one I can do. Throwing the baby out with the bathwater. When you mess up, we will jump right back in. Throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You know, that's what we've always done. When we make a mistake, we just give up. We give up. We, you know, we make our New Year's resolutions, and those New Year's resolutions are prob have probably already fallen by the wayside. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Because it's happened to you. You give up. If you make a mistake and miss a day, you just throw in the towel, you know? Throw in the towel. Um, and give up before you ever really get started. I knew this to happen to a friend of mine who was doing low-carb, a low-carb way of eating before it was ever really a thing. I think there was like the Atkins way, but she was doing a low carb way of eating and she ate a Snickers bar on Halloween. She had lost a hundred pounds, 80, 80 to a hundred pounds. And at that point she was done. She gave up. She said, I can't do this anymore. And that was her, her excuse. And I call it an excuse, but that was her excuse to just not, not do it anymore. This is why we do the hot melt sprint every month. We like to focus one week out of a month on our on on establishing good eating habits. Eating a small portion of meat, eating a salad, eating your green vegetables. And filling up on highly nutritious things. It starts Monday. Join Leanne and me, and we'll do this together. We'll do it together, which is I think is wonderful. I think it's absolutely wonderful because we go to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint to become a part of our um, our little our little sprint. It's where we're going to focus our eating habits. But when we get upset, you know, when we, oh, I forgot what, what, I put it back in the, in the basket, but we throw the baby out with the bathwater. We have done that with everything we ever done, we've ever done. And that's, you know, you want to know why? It's our perfectionism. It's our perfectionism that causes this. Yes, it's our perfectionism. And I want you to let go of that perfectionism and just jump back in. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Jump in and just act as if it didn't happen. We got a great testimonial this week about that. Just act as if it didn't happen. Don't beat yourself up because you made a mistake. We all make mistakes. But jumping back in as if it if you just missed one day, be thankful it wasn't 10. Jump back in and you're going to see a huge difference in the way your attitude is toward you and, and how your home looks. Uh, somebody's battling a virus, you know, stomach bugs. They're just all they're all viruses and viruses are dead and we've got to take care of ourselves in baby steps maybe you get um when you go to the grocery store this weekend grab five extra boxes of pasta while you're there let's build up our stockpiles a little at a time even though with our with our sprint we're not eating pasta but if you're stuck at home and you need to need food to feed your family, pasta is a great way to do it. And it's a great way to get more in the house. So let's drink to not beating ourselves up because we miss a day. Because 
You know, being kind to you is what flying's all about. Finally, loving yourself. And when you love yourself, you won't beat yourself up. Unless you have diabetes. That's right, Anita. You're so right. So you've got to have a supply of food in your house that is not going to flare up your sugar. And that's mainly vegetables and meat. Vegetables and meat. So be kind to you. Now Leanne has taught me how to eat cauliflower rice. Yeah, it's it's little pieces of rice cut up into little and it she serves it with uh, lots of ways. We I have it just about every time I'm at her house. Or we have cabbage. Cabbage is good. Cabbage is real good. So, drink up, folks. I'm stock stocking up on vitamin C and love my tea. Love my tea because it it's you know it's afternoon with you. It's afternoon of you coming in here and being a part of something that's much bigger than me, much bigger than you. It's all of us together. Cabbage is good for wraps too. You know what the ultimate cabbage wrap is? It's, um, it's, what was it called? It, it was hamburger meat and, and different things in a cabbage and it's cabbage rolls, cabbage rolls cabbage rolls so I know I'm touching my eye but it's itching yeah I've been seeing on TV people shake hands and different things they're telling us not to shake hands anymore well I think they need a big bottle of hand sanitizer by them when they shake hands and they can just spritz on the hand sanitizer <laughs> does a hot drink nope it doesn't it really doesn't in fact I get enough vitamin C that even if it did diminish it, it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt anything. Forgot about rat. I've got radish sprouts too. A deconstructed cabbage roll is also delicious. Oh, Leanne's making me hungry. So, fo folks, I wouldn't even do a fist bump right now. Anyway. Uh-oh, something happened to my watch. It blew up. There, it's back to normal. It, it went huge. <laughs> well, we're coming up on a full moon. And, you know, Monday is weekly home blessing day. And Ben has his doctor's appointment at 8 o'clock on Monday morning. And we're going to find out when his surgery is going to get scheduled for. An air fist bump. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, my niece is in uh, in Hawaii right now. Brooks, Brooke is in Hawaii. She went there for some church thing that she's a uh, part of. Roasted vegetables in the oven. The worm moon. Yeah, that's what Robert told me last night. This is called the worm moon. Who knows why it's called the worm moon? I don't know. Maybe because the worms are going to start coming out and... Um, they come down from deep in and start making their little pathways through the soil and breaking it loose, getting ready for springtime. And tonight we change, spring forward our clocks. We move our clocks forward an hour. And we can do that. You can start this afternoon getting your kids ready. They're not going to know what time it is. And so you can have dinner an hour early. And then that means bedtime can be an hour early. And then get up time. Let's see, we, get, we lose an hour of sleep tonight. So we're going to lose an hour of sleep. So if you spring forward right now with the clocks, worms are getting ready to start eating our gardens. People plant in the gardens. I saw uh, yesterday somebody had, uh, Paul from uh, Franklin, Tennessee, he had, he had planted his spring garden. There's nothing I like any better than green onions and radishes 
and mustard greens. That's my favorite, favorite thing in the springtime, my mustard salad. And what you do is, this is the best part of a mustard salad. You get your mustard greens because they're kind of peppery and I really like that flavor. You slice some green onions into little pieces and then you take radishes and you slice them into little pieces. And then you take some bacon and fry it up. Now, I have a secret, secret way to do this. I put my bacon in an iron skillet and I put my salad in a colander. And I put it in a bowl and then I take the bacon drippings and the bacon, cause I cut my bacon up first into lots of little pieces, stir that around and I pour all of that in my colander and flip it around and I let it drain out, put it back in the skillet, heat it up and do it again. Yeah, I use five pounds of bacon. No, I don't use five pounds of bacon, maybe two. I have a package, it's applewood bacon. It is to die for, I love it. But I heat it up again, so it's a wilted salad. And so I decided to get some, some greens to make some sprouts out of mustard seeds and radishes and green onions. Yep. I think that would be a great winter time when you're growing, growing growing sprouts to get a mixture because that it's really peppery the mustard greens are i love them and you could put mustard greens just in a pot and grow them and have you enough for a salad yep i love mustard greens they make me happy so folks y'all have a great rest of the evening be sure and uh, start planning if you plan, you're put them in the tea bag. I like that. Heads up, mustard greens don't sprout well in trays. Put them in the tea bag. I'm gonna try that right now, Leanne. I'm gonna make some mustard greens. I've got eight little tea bags, so I'm gonna. That's what I'll do. Start me a little container of uh, mustard greens to grow. I love you all. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Start planning for being indoors or away from people for a couple of weeks. And if we plan, we can, we got this. We got this. I love you all. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. If you, I want mustard greens right now too. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Jump in right where we are and do what you can. That's all it takes. Setting up, do change your clocks before you go to bed. Now you can change your clocks right now and your kids, uh, your kids uh, might not know and then they get in bed a little early, earlier and then they'll get a full eight hours of sleep. You might not, but they will. And when the babies aren't happy, mama ain't happy. I love you all. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.